sack of boners on key, gosh, la bitchy, I call a Mali, picking in his scoff. When I hear native drums beating, somehow I just become mad by rhythm repeating. On the drum, away with manners, etiquette, and education, and civilization. I'd rather be an Ethiopian savage than an ordinary civilized man. You may have your own opinions about the Abyssinians, but at least they got a good time while they can. When we want to wed his daughter, her father simply stares and asks if we've got capital or any stocks or shares. When the wild men fall in love, they're free from all these cares. A couple of goats and the girl is theirs. I'd rather be an Ethiopian savage than an ordinary civilized man. Abyssinia, I am soon coming. I'll live without a care. Where they send warnings by drumming. Out of there, where one can sleep free, hear it, see free, even smell free. Or go bats in the belfry. I'd rather be an Ethiopian savage than an ordinary civilized man. You may have your own opinions about the Abyssinians, but at least they have a good time while they can. A toss keep courting danger when they're motoring out to golf. Pedestrians are scared too of the motors at the top. But at risks of being run over, the wild men well can scoff. You smell a cavalry coming quite a long way off. I'd rather be an Ethiopian savage than an ordinary civilized man. Our girls are dressed in their best whenever we've met, so our weddings quite often mean surprise and regret. When the Abyssinian marries his pet, he's seen just exactly what he's going to get. I'd rather be an Ethiopian savage than an ordinary civilized man. Every year new dances come, the latest steps we quiz. Every dancing teacher always claims that it is his. The wild man doesn't change his steps around and round he whiz. He calls it the black bottom, and it certainly is. I'd rather be an Ethiopian savage. Ooh! We buy a girl a platinum ring if long enough she'll cling, or a pearl or diamond necklace worth the ransom of a king. A wild man cuts his rival's ear off when he wants a ring, and he can make a necklace out of any old thing. I'd rather be an Ethiopian savage than an ordinary civilized man. You may have your own opinions about the Abyssinians, but at least they get a good time while they can. The civilized man's judged by how he behaves. He sleeps in beds and he baths and he shaves. The wild man sleeps in huts and caves with the latest consignment of nice young slaves. I'd rather be an Ethiopian savage than an ordinary civilized man. Anybody got a spear? Spear wheel? No, a spear mint. Oh, goodbye, Abyssinians. This is Ronald Franco speaking, and it may surprise you to know, I never mind the powder. I never mind the paint. Now that the girls use today, if they want to pretend to look just what they ain't, they probably look better that way. I can never be shocked by a fashionable gown. It's that attitude to life that makes me frown. It's their modern mentality gets me down. I couldn't make love to the girl of today, even if I wanted to. She resents the tensions, be they ever so small, or flattering or smattering, with a subtlety at all. Some fear and trembling I should ask her for a kiss. She wouldn't behave like an old-fashioned miss. She'd not give me a thought. She'd probably shout, Okay, you love, you can mess me about. Oh, I couldn't make love to the girl of today, even if I wanted to. And girls used to hope for the best when you kissed them, now they hope for the worst. You couldn't even say call it to a lady today. There's a question I want to ask you. Of course, you'd answer, of course, often, before she knew what the question was. In the old days, too, if you had any money, you used to have your girl's face painted in oils or her bust done in marble. Now she paints her own face and well, times have changed, so everything's flat today, isn't mm -hmm. If you wanted to marry a girl, you used to have to ask her father's consent. If you got it, you could marry her in a year's time. Now you ask her husband's consent, and if you did it, you'd never marry her at all. Girls used to be taught all the domestic duties to them. When they married, they could cook an ox tail and take the baby out. Now they can only shake a cocktail, and if they did take a pram out, they'd have to have a large ale on it. Everything's reversed these days. You used to give her jewellery only after she had Now it's got to be before, she won't. Ladies used to retire after dinner. Now everybody does. You used to have a honeymoon after the wedding. Now you don't have one. 
Only 30 or 40 years ago, when you were courting a young maiden, you would look admiringly at her wasp like figure and say, Maid, what a week! And she would blush and lead you on to further advances. You look at a modern girl with no figure and say, What a waste! She says, Don't waste it then and make the further advances herself. In the old days, too, you used to meet your girl in a moonlit garden. She had her mother on the veranda, and you tell her sweet stories. Now you meet your girl in a coonlit cabaret, and her brother's on the stock exchange, and you can't tell her anything. I couldn't make love to the girl today, even if I wanted to. He was in pretension, she lay ever so tall. A flattering or smattering, to subtlety at all. I mustn't pray for her or mouth, or she'll be most unkind. She only wants a tribute to her masculine mind. If I said, oh, by dad, her eyes drive me mad. She says to live with something, insulting my dad. Oh, I couldn't make love to the girl today, even if I wanted Even if I wanted... Now, you better take a violin. Now, isn't it simply wrong, Mr. Old-fashioned girls, please write in.